Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design, and today I'm going to show you how I made this Halloween floral spiderweb tumbler. I'm using a straight 25 ounce tumbler from Stainless Steel Depot, and I found this um, spiderweb, Im spiderweb <laughs> image on my Cricut Design Space. I went ahead and cut it out and sized it to the size of my tumbler, and I'm going to wrap it directly on my tumbler. It's easy to do this when you have a straight sided tumbler. If you have one with a bit of a taper, you'll have to do a little tweaking, maybe make the image a little larger to have that wrap finely around the tumbler without any issues. And you'll see me struggle a little bit with this um, transfer paper. The image is not really intricate, but it is all spliced, so the, it kept wanting to pull away from the tumbler as I was pulling that transfer taper ba paper back. This does have a little bit of an overhang, so I will go in and fix that also here in a bit. And because this was giving me such a hassle, I ended up taking my razor tool and trimming the top and the bottom of that overhanging image so that way it would peel off the transfer um, tape a little bit easier. <laughs> I was struggling with this a little bit, but this made it easier. Be careful when you're using your razor blade. Um, I'm a bit of a klutz, so I try to keep my fingers well away from that sharp blade. This one is a little bit different than my normal tumblers. I usually do peekaboos, but this time I'm going to leave that vinyl in place and do an alcohol ink, um, kind of almost like the wood grain method, but I'm not really trying to achieve a wood grain effect. I just want the alcohol ink to highlight the design of the spider web, and I will leave the vinyl in place. So after I struggle and fight with this Ugh, transfer tape. <laughs> there we go, we finally got it. So I'm just pressing that down really well so I don't have any uh, bumps or creases. And now I'm going to apply some painter's tape to make a straight line where that seam is overhanging. The vinyl is overhanging. And since this is a cut image, you know, the spider web has many little webs, I guess you'd say. Um, I did have to go in and kind of peel back a little and pull up the little cut pieces. I don't know if I'm making any sense, guys. I apologize. But <laughs> I just want to get rid of the extra little pieces that were overlapping each other, if that makes any sense. This one takes a little bit of patience. Um, <laughs> if you would like to avoid doing this, you can always make sure that your image is measured exactly correct for the width or the diameter of your tumbler. Um, I always tend to add a little extra because I don't want it to have a gap. So I'm just picking off the little pieces that are cut that I don't want. And in the end, it doesn't really matter this seam's going to be covered anyway um, in a little while. So I probably could have avoided some of this uh, hassle. <laughs> so now I'm going to choose a few different alcohol inks to spread on my tumbler. First I'm going to cut my sponge. I didn't want it to be that wide, so I'm just cutting it. I didn't have any smaller sponges. 
And I don't know, honestly, why I put that glove on, you guys. Um, <laughs> it wasn't needed for this part of the tumbler. Maybe I wanted to channel my inner Michael Jackson. <laughs> so I purchased this alcohol ink. Um, Hobby Lobby is starting to sell its own alcohol ink and they have quite a few colors so I purchased this black I needed a new black and I usually use pinata black which I really really like but I have a hard time finding it sold by itself so I purchased this and this black is very pigmented and you can see that here it has a little bit of a blue undertone but it is really black black so I would recommend it it's only but I think it was $3.99 at Hobby Lobby and they have many colors now I may and they sell them individually so I may go back and get a few more because I really like this alcohol ink so I'm just spreading on the black here over directly over my vinyl to show that um, my spider web through and you're gonna see me kind of play around with this alcohol ink in many different ways um, I knew the look I was going for, but I didn't know how to, you know, make it happen, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so you'll see me use a few different colors, um, spraying some 91% alcohol on there to kind of thin it out. I wanted the, I really wanted that spider web to show, and this black was covering it a little too much. So you'll see what I do here. I'm going to let you watch my process.
Ooh, now that that's finally done, I got it to where I wanted. <laughs> um, now we're on the turner, and I did layer a pretty good amount of epoxy to cover, and I want to add a little bling. I'm going to use this um, Galactica from Glitter Craze and Too Faced from Sparkly Mima, and then this mix that I have that I made myself. They're all color changing glitters and I think that they'll just be so pretty and they have a purple to green shift each one of them and they're each a different cut. So I'm just sprinkling on my fine glitter here in just random areas just to give it a little bling and then I'll sprinkle on just a little bit of my two chunky glitters in random areas. I always have to add my bling. You guys know me. I have so much glitter and I like to use it. <laughs> This chunky mix is absolutely amazing. It's a black holographic. This is the Galactica from Glitter Craze. It goes so well with the colors that I chose for the tumbler. So I'm gonna let this turn. Um, I think I come back to it the next day. So you guys will see what it looks like. I am going to put one more layer of epoxy over the glitter once this layer is completely cured. And then we'll go on to our next step. It's a nice look at all those glitters. So I purchased a file on Etsy with all of these beautiful images on it. Um, very hot, gothic Halloween vibe. And my tumbler is all nice and smooth, ready for my decals. I think I'm going to go in a swirl, similar to my um, leopard flower swirl tumbler. And I want to cover up that seam as much as possible, so I'm going to start there and then wrap my um, images around the tumbler in a swirl pattern. I printed these in large files and a little bit smaller just so that I can get a variety of shapes and sizes and I'm just going to lay them all down and kind of um, stagger them a little bit, um, put them right on top of each other and that's fine, the epoxy will cover. I printed these on printable vinyl and printable vinyl is pretty fragile so you have to be careful when you peel those up so that you don't rip your image. One thing that I wish that I had done after putting these down is I wish I would have sealed it with two times Rust-Oleum spray to give it a good um, seal before I laid my epoxy down and you'll see why here in just a bit my epoxy I think I used my longer um, curing resin my KS resin art resin that takes 24 hours to harden and it did seep into my images just a little bit I think it's the type of um, printer paper or sticker paper that I purchased. Um, I can't remember what brand this is that I used. I kind of just keep a bunch in my little file folder and pull it out as needed. So this one definitely needed a spray seal before I put my epoxy down. But since this is for a Halloween tumbler, it didn't really make too much of a difference. You may be able to tell once I put the epoxy on um, that epoxy kind of caused a little bit of a wet spot on one of my pumpkins that I put here. So I'm just kind of going with the flow and eyeballing this to see what is pleasing to the eye. Um, I don't want to cover up my images too much because I really like them. My favorite were these death's head moths that I that were with this file. I absolutely love them. They're so cute. They have little skulls on their wings. It reminds me of the movie Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> this tumbler is so fun. Um, it's pretty and spooky at the same time. And I love Halloween. I love skulls. I, <laughs> I'm the girliest goth you would ever meet. <laughs> so once these are placed, I am going to go ahead and apply two layers of epoxy and let them cure completely in between. I do end up putting one of these little moths on the bottom also, but you can't really see. Isn't it pretty? Oh, love it. And now that epoxy is completely cured, you can see there on that pumpkin that there is a little bit of a wet spot 
wet looking spot. That's what epoxy does when it soaks through anything that's made of paper. So I think in the future I will purchase um, waterproof sticker paper, printable sticker, sticker paper, or spray it with two times Rust-Oleum. So I'm going in with these paint markers. I purchased these on Amazon. I can leave them in the link below. Um, I've been searching for the perfect paint marker, paint pen marker for my tumblers, and I think I found them. These are nice, really work well. They have a fine tip that I really like, and they really kept the paint flowing without too much hassle. So I'm just doing some broken lines. I'm just outlining um, kind of abstractly around the images. I don't want to trace it. I don't want it to be perfect. You can see it almost looks like um, broken lines, squiggly lines, almost like I would do for a geode. But I really do think it adds something, some added texture and dimension to this image and helps them to pop against each sticker. Use your own judgment. You know you can do this any way you want. Art is subjective. You don't even have to outline these if you don't want to, but I just think that it really added something and I really enjoy the way that it turned out in the end. I love these images. I'll try to see which shop I purchased these from. Um, it is was in a pack in on Etsy. Um, I just searched for um, like a gothic Halloween flower or floral, Halloween floral, that's what I looked for. And this was one that came up. It had this, all these images in separate files and I just love them. Once I'm finished putting my paint pen lines on, I will go ahead and put another layer of epoxy over this. And I believe I only had to do one more. You can also do one sand and then do another a second. Um, however you need, whatever you need to do to get your tumbler nice and smooth. This one doesn't have too much glitter on it, but sometimes that vinyl will um, peel up on the edges. So sometimes you have to do two layers. This is probably my favorite Halloween tumbler I've made so far. Um, <laughs> it has everything that I love. I, I love the color, I love the images, and I love the swirl and the sparkle. This is the silver pen. I believe I do the silver pen on the skulls and the moths, and then the white was for the flowers and the pumpkin. It's kind of hard to tell here just because the angle, but you'll be able to see that better in the images at the end. When I think of fall, I think of Halloween. <laughs> um, I like just normal fall also. It's my favorite time of year.
So I'm almost done here, and like I said, you could do this any way that you like, but I really love the way that this turned out. And here's the final product. I ended up putting two layers of epoxy over this tumbler to make it nice and smooth. And you can see the cute little details on the spider and the moths and everything else. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my video. I really, really am so thankful that you guys love my videos. And if you do and you haven't yet, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos coming up soon. And I just want to say happy fall, everybody. Just have fun with your tumblers and fun with the designs. Happy crafting, everyone. Keep up the good work.